Hey everybody, this is Dan from My Toy Case, and today we're going to take a look at the Star Wars Black Series Cad Bane Toto 360 exclusive figure from Hasbro. This is going to be a good one. Stay tuned. All right, let's get started by taking a look at our packaging. We have this beautiful black box looking great with some really wonderful artwork on the side of Cad Bane and Toto 360. All in all, very well designed, although simple box that would look great on pretty much anybody's shelf in addition we just slide this guy open right here to open up and there you go you see the figure looking great you've got the plastic casing with nothing over the front so even just propping that open just like this would make for a really nice display on a wall you've got on the back here same thing plain black back normally but then you see so open it up you've got that great artwork you've got the little bit of a bio for Cad Bane, Toto 360, very nice. Again, would be a very nice piece to put up on your wall as a mint in box collector. For us though, we're gonna open this bad boy up. Let's take a look. All right, let's start by taking a look at some articulation and painting. Here we have Toto 360, and what's really a nice paint job here, very subtle, very evenly painted, uh, very good detail here in the eyes. I don't see any paint that has spilled over in any way. Sometimes those detail spots with a different color can get a little sideways for Hasbro, but overall this looks good. Uh, there's a little bit of a imperfection here on the edge. I don't think that's from the opening of the package, but not super great looks a little rough feels definitely very rough i don't know if you can kind of see that look at that that's too bad hopefully that's not for everybody we do have some good articulation though we've got the neck which moves very very well it's just a pivot right so up down nothing major there we've got the shoulders here on also a little ball joint same thing with the legs on a ball joint as well as the feet. So it should make for some pretty easy standing, especially the way the figure's design should be able to just stand it up in pretty much any way. And I really love this little detail is that it's got a rotation on its hips from left to right. And I think you get some pretty interesting expression coming out of your standing if you give them a little bit of a lean. Oop, not like that. There we go. So he's got a little bit of a lean. Maybe he's kind of uh, taking a look. Uh, for those of you who have your dioramas, could make for a pretty cool pose here. Um, and some good stuff overall. All right, and now for the star of the show, Mr. Cad Bane. Looking very nice. Pretty standard for articulation. Very, very nice for our paint job and details. Uh, you can see here very clearly, you got a really wonderful design. Lots of good details. The vest opening up, giving that extra layer. Got the his tubes on his arms here that move and flex as you move his arm around. Uh, a little uh, initially stiff on the joints, which is, in my opinion, a good thing because it keeps them from sagging or sliding around. You get them in a good pose. You could kind of leave them there for a little bit and not have to worry about it slipping around. Oh, and here we go. We almost forgot a very important part his hat there we go uh, a couple of things to note when it comes to the articulation right so uh small detail but his little uh ankle jets here do have some rotation to it so you get really uh, some some clever posing there although not too much in the way of maybe like a hole here at the bottom it would have been pretty cool to be able to use some of the blast effects from other figure lines even from hasbro such as the uh, iron man blast effects something like that that can help give him some more character as he's actually using his jets on his ankles looking at some pretty standard articulation although here you see just the single knee joint uh regular rotation here nothing too crazy although we're not talking about spider-man figure here so i don't think it needs to be anything too nuts but it gets the job done good head rotation can look around 
Uh, there's a couple things that I've noticed on this figure though that I hope are just specific to my figure. And one of them is just a little bit of a defect on the hat here, which I hope you can see. You can see it's kind of scratched up here. Uh, I think that comes from the way that it's put into the packaging. The plastic clamshell, the hat sort of like just slides into it before it is zipped in place. Uh, so I could picture that if it didn't go in too well, that would definitely scratch that up. Uh, similar scratch uh, on this part of his bag, you can see maybe uh, a little bit of a scratch there. It doesn't look super great, although there won't be too much in the way of seeing CAD from behind, but enough to make me a little annoyed. Um, and here we go, some more, like as I'm looking, a little bit of, I guess, damage right here on the cloak or on the on his jacket. Uh, it's just like it's nicked or something. I, you know what? I think that based on where the packaging was, I bet that was from the pressure of the little plastic pieces that hold him in rubbing up against there. I guess if the, if the jacket doesn't sit just right in the packaging, that could run into some issues. Uh, you know, also here, I'm, I'm not perfect. I could have very well, uh, maybe done a little scrape on that when I was trying to pull it out because that... That cape does require a little bit of pressing in order to get it out of the plastic. Uh, the other thing that I, I noticed earlier, I'm definitely not going to re repeat it, but this little bit of this tubing near his head actually uh, had come right out. I don't think it was actually in all the way when it first came out of the figure. Um, and what I found is that it had some flashing. There's a little hole here on the side of his head. There's a little bit of flashing, which is basically like spill over from the molding that was preventing this tube from going in all the way I had to go in and do some very minor surgery to that hole in order for this tube to fit back in securely uh, a little annoying but not a deal breaker uh, one of the other big culprits of flashing are of course the bottoms of the feet and the peg holes and these are pretty clean pretty clear uh, you can see we got our my toy case action figure display stands going right into place here, a little loose actually than what I would expect. Uh, although you can see that it holds, uh, I, you know, I have to say Hasbro is sadly notorious for inconsistencies in their peg hole sizing. Um, but have no fear. Uh, they do fit perfectly fine. Just a little tiny bit on the looser side, looser than I would like, but uh, still get the job done. Get his hat there. And there you have it. And there he is, everyone. Cad Bane and Toto 360 in all their glory. Complete, looking sharp, in a little pose. I think this might be exactly how I put them on my shelf. And overall, feel great. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, packaging, very nice. Very cool design. A uh, little, uh, little, little iffy as far as the plastic pieces that hold things in place. As I kind of showed in the earlier part of the video, uh, that could be a point of damage on the figure. Uh, I don't know if it's something I would want to or feel the need to maybe give Hasbro a call about, but uh, definitely a little disappointing. Uh, once you get past those details, though, it's really hard to find a Black Series figure that's looking nicer than this Cad Bane. Great detail, great posing ability, uh, accessories are solid, love the details of the tubing on his arms and on his face, his jets on his ankles. All in all, I'd say this figure is a solid 9 out of 10, and I'm super happy to be able to put it up on my shelf. I'd love to hear from everyone else. What do you think? How did this figure turn out for you? Is it something you're going to pick up? And do you have any feedback for me? I'd love to hear from it. And we're going to take a look at some more figures in the future. Thanks so much, and I hope you all have a great day.